Jamie Vardy set the internet alight by a, scoring a phenomenal volley against Liverpool, which is a crucial goal and will be a crucial goal for Leicester moving forward as they continue to remain at the top of the Premier League table. Five points clear from those chasing them. So the, the goal itself, I still, uh, despite the fact that of the significance of him scoring against Liverpool and Leicester chasing this Premier League trophy, still not better than Della Alli's. That goal for me is still going to be the goal of the season. His multi-phase... Um, spectacular volley, technique involved, everything included. But Jamie Vardy's volley, nonetheless, let's not take anything away from it. What was your reaction to it? I would say that it was. It looked more difficult than uh, Deli Ali goal. Uh, Deli Ali's goal. I understand the uh, immense skill you need to have that much awareness and cognitive ability in your head to mm -hmm. finish that shot. I'm aware. I get it. Vardy's goal came at a more difficult angle. I would say. The ball bounced. It also came at uh, an awkward bounce in which he had the wherewithal to say, or see, oh, I see Mignolet off his line. No, not Mignolet. Yeah, Mignolet, yeah, Mignolet. Mignolet. off his line. I'm going to put it right past him. Uh, we have a few screenshots. We have a screenshot to show you pretty much how far out this was. Yeah, it's a distance. Ooh, difficult angle. This is not FIFA, Jamie Vardy. You're not supposed to be able to do that. <laughs> uh, and we have a better picture of uh, Mignolet uh, diving for hope, uh, but there is no hope at the end of that. There part. is no <laughs> hope, Mignolet. Um, but yeah, I agree that the angle was, was a difficult one, a very acute angle, um, in which he went near post as well. You expect him to maybe go across. It's acute, or would you say it's more obtuse? But obtuse is the, the larger angle, yeah, so it's, it's an acute angle. angle so it's to definitely an acute angle. Yeah, okay. it's a cute one. It's adorable. And, and to try and come across the goalkeeper would have been his, I imagine, any striker's go-to action is to put the ball across the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. But I think he caught Magnolia off guard and struck it very sweet. But again, just to put that argument, Del Ali hit it on the volley. Yeah, still much harder. Someone might someone disagree harder. with you. No one will. It's still uh, harder to hit. Actually, I, I think someone did disagree with you. I, I don't agree. I what, the was, Rolling uh, Stones? I think it was Jurgen Klopp who disagreed with nah, you. No, it was Jurgen Klopp. It was Jurgen Klopp. Let's hear what he had to say. I'm still not completely um, in an analyze uh, modus, to be honest. Um, am I... Uh, it's... It's nice to be in the stadium when um, Jamie Vardy made make make the goal of the month. But um, in the idle world, you are not the manager of the other team. What is that? I mean, when Jurgen Klopp state puts forward a statement like that, you, everyone is the thing about Jurgen Klopp: very personable, very admirable, very outspoken, straightforward, doesn't sugarcoat anything. He says something like that, you, you take it on board. Nonetheless, this plays into his favour as well because it's funny. Someone tweeted it out: is when Jurgen Klopp, when Liverpool win. Jurgen Klopp turning things around and then when Liverpool lose. That's Brendan Rodgers' team. He's just trying to fix something that's clearly broken already and just can't fix it. You know, I, 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 I will rarely give a lot of, uh, give a manager slack and Jurgen Klopp's no exception. I don't think that was a good performance from Liverpool. I think they lacked the execution needed for a top flight team. Um, they show signs of brilliance. They show signs of uh, moving the ball well, but they always look like they can concede on the counter-attack. Leicester, probably the best team in the country at the moment as for a counter-attacking team. They are able to switch up swift passes, getting it wide, and then in moments like you just seen with Jamie Vardy, bang, two passes and we're in the back of the net. Did, do people have no patience? Because like when you read the media hype machine, you start looking and you go, yeah, yeah, you're going to collapse there. Now look, we did a clip on like, here's eight reasons as to why Liverpool can win the Premier League, and at no point do we say there's eight reasons as to why they will win the Premier League. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference in the wording. But at the same time, it's patience. I mean, I get it. Some like The Premier League has no patience. Teams have no patience. They want to win now. But at the same time, uh, Klopp is probably not going to be fired at the end of the season. Oh, or no. No. sacked, as you put it. But yeah, uh, the, but the new the new manager novelty shouldn't, shouldn't be a factor in considering their performance. Like, people will... The mainstream media is known to be uh, so ruthless when it comes to managers in the Premier League. And Jurgen Klopp, many people have stated that he seems to be getting off because they haven't been great. He's just a great manager, a great, likable guy. They don't look like they're any better than they were before yes, Klopp right thing. now. Give but him a transfer, him a transfer window. Transfer. Give him uh, uh, his own team to build. He's not going to take the pep route. The German influx of players, hopefully. Yeah, oh, probably. probably. It would, at least you would think. Guys that he worked with in the past, hopefully. But uh, he wasn't the only manager who spoke on Vardy's goal. Uh, Ranieri. Fadio Ranieri. Nailed the it. The tinker man. Uh, Leicester honest. City's manager was in pretty much utter disbelief as well in his post-game press conference. Post-match press conference. The goal, fantastic goal. It was uh, unbelievable. The pass from Maretz. And unbelievable what... Vardy did 
because uh, he watched the ball arriving, watched the opponent, and watched the, the keeper. He looked at the keeper out of the goal. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic. And this opened the match. Opened the match. Uh, we continued to press. Uh, we wanted to be solid behind. And very good performance. I'm very, very pleased with my, my players. Here. Bounced. And it got there. It's amazing how you are. <laughs> That's how you. How it's amazing how your Van Gaal, your Ranieri, and your Mourinho all somehow find it. Because they all talk the same. Nobody has energy in a press Dutch, conference. Portuguese, Italian. No, they all. They're not. They're <laughs> not the same. They talk the same in a post-match press conference. They go super low-toned, as if it's a library. Party here and there. Speak up, man. You guys yell at me to speak up. What about how, these guys? How he wants them to, to direct. Press. Well, ah. Uh, yeah, we played very well, and uh, we, we should have put, uh, put our feet on the offense. At least we can and hear And be going with the defense. At least we can hear <laughs> them, what they're saying, opposed to these guys who half of them don't even speak English fluent. Offense! First language. <laughs> Look, you guys have an uh, offense and a defense, too. I know, it's an attack and a defense. But I, this is my fact that I always say this. Like, why is it called defense? Why is it war? Why, why is it always war with you guys? Why is it called defense? Um, when you guys are talking about sports and then if you, if, like, would you call him the guy who's in charge of your, your, your Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Defense? Is it the Ministry of Defense? We don't have a Ministry of Magic like you do over <laughs> in England, all right? Is he, is, he the, is he the Secretary of Defense or is he the Secretary of Defense? He's the Secretary of Defense! No, he's not. <laughs> Contradictions. All right, anyway, to get back to the main point, uh, that is one fact that I wanted to highlight that Ranieri said. Marries his past as well. Ooh. That bond between those two players, many Crafty. people, including myself, after Liverpool's win in the last game, I was thinking, oh, they've dried up a little bit. They're not playing as, as fluidly as you'd expect. It's not you mean fully. Leicester? Yeah, Leicester, yeah, they Leicester, lost not the last game. So yeah, Matt, but now to see, this is going to be a crucial factor in them potentially winning this league because Mares and Vardy, on their own, stand alone, two of the best players in the Premier League. And when they click, there's no one better. So credit to Mares for that goal as well. Because yeah, to see that uh, vision, well-weighted pass. Five points shy of... Tying their record for most, yeah, their Leicester. own, the Leicester record for a club record for most points. Most points in a season. In a season, uh, which they can possibly grab within two short weeks. I'm anxious to see, there's an interview coming up this weekend with Nigel Pearson, the former Leicester manager. Mm -hmm. Anxious to see what his thoughts are on the whole transition because a lot of those players that are there, he was involved in maturing them. So I wonder, something like this? No, he's English. When they came to me, they were not that good. <laughs> I raised those guys. In the offense, <laughs> we could do this all day. All right, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Was Jamie Vardy's goal the goal of the season? Yes. Has it pipped Della Ali's multi phase phenomenon? Or do you believe that this yes. one touch finish from Jamie Vardy was enough to move him to the top? Jason believes so. Jurgen yes. Klopp, Ranieri all apparently believe so. I do not. Hit us up on Twitter at Francis underscore Maxwell at Jason Rubin 91 and at TYT Sports. <laughs>